we've got to the point now where all the steel is used up. The steel has been cut and bent and formed and shaped into cages that fit into the forms of the ring beam. And now that we can see the ring beams are reinforced with steel, the concrete is about to be poured. So these are the steels, the steel I-beams, H-beams, I don't know what is the difference, but these beams are going on the long side of the house on both sides, from one pillar to the other. I'm not sure when that's going to happen, but they're covered up, they've just been delivered and they're covered up because you guess what, we are expecting rain, <laughs> more rain. It's the middle of June and it's still raining, which is great because we also have quite a lot of water in the well. And because we don't have a, an irrigation system set up yet, yeah, because we don't have an irrigation set up yet, I'm kind of really grateful, but of course it'll make this pouring a lot more difficult. So today's the first day of the pour of the, the first day of pouring uh, the ring beams. And then we're going to have to pray for good weather for putting the roof on. Because really as hot and horrible as it's going to be, 
we do need dry weather to get the roof on. Meanwhile, I've been carrying on in the garden as usual. Uh, Dan's at his desk at home. Um, he's been at home for, oh, I think well over five, six weeks now. It's been delightful. Uh, so I've got to stake up my tomatoes and do a couple of little jobs before this rain comes. So I'll get on with that now. I think I may have used up all my bamboo canes. In the last video, somebody asked me, was I leaving the artichokes um, just to look pretty? And I think this is the only thing I showed in the last video, which is a cardoon. So you do not eat the flower heads. You can eat the stalks, although I've cut the stalks off on this particular one so I can walk past. But the flowers are used. I'll show you. Whoops. Did show before this little bit is used to make a setting agent for sheep and goat's milk here in the Iberian Peninsula that's covering Spain and Portugal. It's a very traditional method. Um, it's naturally vegetarian. And yeah, so normally they would use rennet, but this is what they use here, the, the purple stamens. This is the artichoke, which looks very similar. And I am leaving that, not to be pretty, but so that it forms a flower, turns into seeds, and I can grow a few more around the land because we haven't got enough. And this particular one was absolutely delicious. So you can see my tomatoes have flopped. Now I don't grow these like a single stem that I would have done in the UK. I'll let these grow a little bit more bushy because the extra bushiness, uh, because the extra bushiness allows for a little bit more shadow and the tomatoes do not like a lot of heat. Not that we've had a lot of heat, but I'm sure it'll come. Yeah, looks a bit rough, but it works pretty well. You're coming home with me. Might be cauliflower twice in one week, but he's ready. Yeah, I said, I said already that the rain is coming. So this would be destroyed in the rain. Isn't he lovely? And this, this celery plant is a self-seeded plant one survivor from about 20 million seeds that came from the old celery plant but i'm just mounding up with lots of wood chip to try and get some blan blanched stalks it's hard to say that blanched stalks blanched stalks
there are nectarines all over the ground. So I'm guessing we need to pick them, but they are as hard as a brick. Solid. Dan likes them firm. I, I'm gonna wait and see if they ripen on, on the counter. Well, yesterday we had some lovely visitors and you'll see them now. The only way we could actually get tomato to grow is with salt them. Oh, we saw it on, on Sunday. Quite heavy yeah. salt, yeah, but you don't want to salt plum. No, no. Can. Yeah. No, I do them the same as the figs. I just cut them in half, put them in the sun with an insect screen, basically. Yeah. Yeah. In the summer here. Yeah. In winter we get misty mornings, I think. That helps with not watering as well. No, I mean, that's... So how are you, how are you finding yeah. this particular yeah. zone, area? compared to yours even though it's not that far away is the crow I love it. it's very different mm. wow. very different very um very fertile i think <laughs> unless it's just the hands that are working it <laughs> it's the hands that's throwing stuff all over just <laughs> i love it you shall grow you shall grow love it. honestly i have i'm not jealous of anyone but i'm jealous of their garden because it's beautiful <laughs> All the big Thank leaves. You. Oh, it's amazing. I really enjoyed today. I enjoyed the walk. I enjoyed the drive up. Yeah, so thank you guys. Uh, thank you for coming. <laughs> it's such a pleasure. <laughs> well, we hope you've enjoyed the visit from Luke and Sarah's off grid life as much as we did. And if you want to know what they're going to do with those plums, then you'll have to check out their channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. This week, the rains came and those rains were just so much work stopped. We had 56 millimeters of rain in two days. That is why you didn't get a video last week. And now we're set 
two more days of heavy, heavy rain and thunderstorms. At the end of the week, we had the plumber came by and we've and that was good fun because it was really nice to see where we were marking out things for toilets, bidet and shower and yeah, housey things, which makes it also feel so much better and so much closer to being a real home. Gonna have a tap here so that I can water the plants on the veranda. <laughs> Just seems kind of ridiculous when I look at it now, but I know it's coming. And I want to say thank you for all of the suggestions you gave us for the tiles. Really, I don't want to talk about tiles for a little while now. I need to digest some of that information, but it was so good being able to read everything. And I'm really grateful for all your help. I think it's time I re-repaired this hat. <laughs> it's completely fallen apart at the seams. Um, I'm just hoping I have enough of the old silk scarf, not silk scarf, silk tie that I used to do the first repair. I don't even think anybody noticed, but it was held together with safety pins before. Anyway, this is done well enough, but it has faded incredibly. But that should be at least looking a little bit more respectable for the next time.